There it is. 666. Six, 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 six. 666 in the church. <laughs> is that why you were sent to the asylum? Because you wanted to kill a boy? This thing is like right behind us. I'm a demon. Hey everybody, my name's Colin Brown. You may know me as the host of the Paranormal Files on YouTube, the channel that you're watching this video on right now. I've been doing this for years, literally, since uh, I was a kid. There's a video of me running through a cemetery as a child wearing a Gap hoodie and some denim jeans. But this video is different. On the night that we're filming this interview, we are at Central State Hospital in Georgia, a massive complex of asylum buildings that was once the largest asylum on the planet. There are over 200 buildings, 200 in this complex. And obviously, as you know, with asylums, there were years, decades of suffering that took place here in a lot of these buildings. There were suicides, violent incidents, abuse, rampant abuse, which is why most asylums in America were shuttered. And this almost entire complex is abandoned, but it's truly a once in a lifetime opportunity to be able to investigate Central State. And we were there all night tonight. That's, uh, we've got some pretty scary stories to share from what happened tonight. Hey everybody, uh, Jeff, AKA Papa Spooks, uh, Colin's dad. Uh, yeah, just I do these trips with Colin for fun and to support him, and this happens to be the first asylum really that I've done with him so far. And right when we got here, I had, I mean, it was really creepy for me. I, I felt like, uh, man, it's massive. First of all, decrepit vines growing on the buildings and uh, just a, a creepy feel all over the place everywhere we went for me. We came to the Central State Complex. It was about 7.30, 8 o'clock at night, and we instantly set out to set up our static cameras that we were going to leave inside some of the buildings that we were just not allowed to get into. And I want you to remember that we weren't allowed to go into one building inside of Central State. Not one of them was opened up to us. Wow. Yeah, this building is insanely large. This? Creepy too. This yeah. is whatever this is is huge. Wasn't that the prison? Or, I don't know. I think it was something. There's like too many buildings here, yeah. literally. I think this was the. Huh. I mean, this is the wing. I don't, don't you think? I mean. No, I don't think so. I mean, there's nothing here. That's kind of going to be a good place, actually. I gotta agree. Yeah. Let's just look. Piece of work pickup. Man, oh, what the hell? Your car lights just turned off. Oh, did you turn the car off? No. What? Well, why did it do that? What do you mean they turned? Your off? lights just turned off. They've been on every time we got out of the car to do this. Think about it. What would that be? How would I know? Admissions office. Look at this. Wow. This is such a spooky place. Yeah, I think we're gonna be good on the other two locations. Mm-hmm. Look at the drapes. Oh, eerie. 
like abandoned you know what I mean mm -hmm. <laughs> weird let's go back and place the cameras at the other places okay you see though the lights turned off yeah huh. weird yep Are we going to investigate now? Okay, so we were setting up the static cameras over here. Security came and we met you. And uh, you had a story to share about um, paranormal activity that had happened to you or what you, assumed you had experienced here at this building. Can you kind of just introduce yourself and tell the story? My name is Brandy and I work for Dynamic Security and one day I come back here and I kept finding the window open and I was still in their steps. And um, I decided to climb the steps and take a picture to show how they were getting out of the window. That night I went home, didn't think nothing of it. I was babysitting my grandson and we were taking pictures. After my daughter come home, we were looking through the pictures and this was in one of the pictures. You can see the hands around me. And just so happened that was on my father's birthday and he's been dead about almost four years. Wow. So you think that that's possibly related to you going to the window taking the photo? I do. It was one of the only times I had ever messed with the Jones building at all. I, I've never been over in the windows or stuck my head in. That was the only time. How'd that make you feel a little eerie well, yeah i just hope i left it at her house <laughs> <laughs> you know when i went home i just hope it stayed there right and so yeah well i'm glad that you're watching our back when we're here good to have you <laughs> <laughs> thank you can you show me the window where that mm -hmm. where you took the photo yeah it seemed like every day i was coming over here still on steps <laughs> and if you can, you can see I broke boards <laughs> to keep on from going in, but this is the window. And I just kind of I climbed up to take a picture to show my boss how they were getting in and out. And that's what happened. Wow. So, so you think something followed you home from this specific place right here? It's never happened to me before, ever in my life. So, But it did right here? It did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it did. Wow. Let me uh, see what this looks like in here. Ooh. Can you see the um, steps? Oh, Do you look straight down? Oh yeah, there's the steps right there. They're still there? Yeah. Yeah. And they were on the outside too. And so that's what I was stealing. <laughs> so that people couldn't get back in. Mm -hmm. Because this building's really dangerous. Yeah, understandable. And so, um, all right. Okay. Okay. Well, y'all have fun. Y'all let will. me know when y'all's video yes. comes out. Oh, oh yeah. crazy I'll look. No, no, <laughs> no, not, no, not at all no. compared to us. No, we're, we're the lunatics me, here. No. Okay, here. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll your hand on the window. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, everybody. So we have got our static camera. We're going to go set this up so we can start filming right away. You can get a good reach. So we're going to leave that static camera rolling right there all night inside of this building and then begin investigating the exteriors because that's all we got. So let's do it. So after Colin and I set up the static cameras, we decided to um, really explore the exterior of the buildings. Uh, you know, it's, it's really creepy actually, obviously, as you're, you're going to see on film. And looking in the windows, the broken windows, especially the, the open doors that were broken down, uh, it, I wish we could go in because it, it, it looks really creepy. And uh, overall, it's just, if you were here, and especially uh, at the, uh, in darkness, it, it's, it's really creepy. Oh, listen. Huh. What the fuck? It's like right over. Listen. 
It's like dogs. Okay, so we're at the second building of the night. We just investigated the other building for about an hour. Nothing happened on the exterior, really. But we're over here at building number two with the static camera. It's kind of weird. Anyway. Is there anybody in this building in Jones? Is that coming from in the building? Is there anybody in here in the Jones building? Who's in here? Is there anybody in any of these buildings? Why are those dogs going berserk all this? I mean, I don't know. probably the police. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Is there anybody in this building? Is there anybody inside of this asylum? Why does that sound like a person? You know? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Hello? I have a camera right here and a microphone. If you make a noise or anything or appear, it will show up. Please do. Please do. Trying to, oh, I'm pleading with you. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, Please do. This stuff's really dirty. I don't get it. I don't know. Man, this place is so massive. It's like I'm hearing movement inside of this building. I just thought I heard something there, but could we ever try an IR light? Okay, so we've got infrared now. Jeff, why don't you just ask some questions into this hallway? Void. Yeah. Hey, it's Jeff and Colin here. We've come to say hello. Can you, we're not here to harm you. We're here out of respect. We know this is your place, but can you make a noise or say a name or anything that would show up on this device, which is, you, you guys, I'm sure know what they are, camera. Hello? Is there anybody in this building at all on any of the floors? So, we've been doing the exteriors of these two buildings for hours now. Eh. I'm just here, telling you. Here. Well, we just had something weird where the camera just stopped recording and shut off by itself in the middle of me talking. But we've been here for a couple hours doing the exteriors and I think we're just gonna call it right now. So um, yeah, we're gonna head back to our, uh, our hotel room now. So at the end of the day, as you can see in that footage, that that's it. We didn't really capture anything that night at Central State. We didn't really manage to get what we wanted. We didn't feel that energy coming from these buildings because we couldn't get inside any of them. They didn't let us into a single one of the buildings. And so after that last clip, we really thought that that was gonna be the end of the night. And it really essentially was. You know, we thought that was the end. Or at least we thought that that was the ending. But in reality, that was just the very beginning.
so we actually just shot those interviews. We didn't think that we were gonna have access all day to a building. We didn't think we'd be able to get inside. And we tried to frame that to look like a building that wasn't on campus, but we're actually inside of the chapel right now. This is in the historic quad right next to a bunch of asylum buildings. And this is a very, very important building on the campus, built in the 60s. There were tons of funerals that took place in here, weddings, lots of energy that flowed through the walls of this, of this building. And churches often have hauntings of their own because they're so spiritual. People come here to connect to the other side, to talk to loved ones who may have passed on. And that energy oftentimes sticks around, but we're gonna get right to it. We haven't even been inside of the building other than this hallway. Let's, let's find the upstairs and start ghost hunting. Yeah, remember it's a three-part system. Oh, okay. To the to your right would be where they'd have the Jewish and Muslim. Oh. And this would be the central chapel. Wow. Oh. Oh my gosh, here we are. Wow, look at this column. Wow. Oh, I do too. I can feel vibration. Wow. And you gotta remember too, a lot of the people who would have been attending services here were patients themselves and their energy. And a lot of them probably died, maybe even had their funerals in here and they're buried on campus. Oh, never mind, I'm sorry. I thought I heard someone behind me. Can I put this bag down? Look at this. This is like a pulpit, like, a, you know, old time. Wow. And no disrespect here. I mean, we're, we're allowed in here. Yeah, people you know don't I mean? usually get given access to these buildings. We just be really careful. Oh, thanks. Right, do I, am I going to keep rolling? Or? We've set up motion sensing lights through this main aisle, through the pews, and then a couple of motion sensing little balls. And we're gonna use this REM pod right here. And let's go IR. You wanna turn that off? Yep. Second. It's eerie in here. Put it down. Okay. No pun intended. Yep, no, all right. It's almost like I feel like there are people sitting here. We're getting some like feedback light here. What, oh, it's your reflector vest. Yeah, yeah, I would take it off. Yeah. Here, I'm going to take. Can you hold this for a second? Okay. <laughs> Somebody here? If there's anybody here in the chapel, can you come walk towards the sound of my voice? Dude. Keep going, it's not to you. Oh. Keep coming, church is in. Okay, I have the full body. Again, vibration, I, I haven't had it all day. All, all my, re my ears are ringing. If you're here, can you light up something, one of these balls or the lights to come down the aisle towards us? I feel like you're here. We're, we're, we're not here out of disrespect. I just saw a little light in a pew. Do you believe in God? Dizzy. I don't know what the heck is going on here. Hello? Feeling again, like it's thick again for me. Like 
energy wise. I'm not sure what it is. It's hard to tell if it's happy or sad or. Did you have your funeral here? Like they'd be sitting right here, Colin. The, the casket would be sitting right here. Can you walk down the aisle here? Come on down. Yeah. The that's really active is the area back here. That behind you. With the chaplain's I think, office. I wonder this if hallway. Not, I wonder if I'm not getting like from here. Let's go over here, man. You know? Step down a little bit and ask a question. A second. Oh, I feel cold right behind me. Okay. So, oh, point, point eight. Really? Yeah. Point three. Zero. Is anybody here? You know, we're friendly. 30. 30. We're no way. Wait a second. I want to go by this just yeah, a minute. please. I thought, I thought it said 34. Three Ooh, plus four equals at, seven, the angel this. number. Seven is the angel number, Ooh, three and four. I know, okay, wow. It said 34, like, like that. Um, oh my God, this is like really creepy back here. Yeah, I know. How far does this go back? It's not very There's far. stairs here? Yeah, that's to the stage. What the heck? Oh my gosh, this is creepy. This hallway is eerie right here, man. Hello? I feel like a heat on the side of my face facing this hallway. This is where you'd have to, you know, just think if you were back here and you were a minister or, you know, had to speak and you had a church full of people who were suffering in a funeral, they were crying, you know, how much maybe anxiety that you would have as a minister, you know, or pastor before you go up these stairs. I mean, that's kind of the feeling I maybe have of dread or just like, and I'm getting really creeped out from this corner for some reason. Can we get out of this area? Yeah. Let's, let's go. go this way. This is where I came out before. I didn't know that. Okay. Oh, this room has loaded energy. <laughs> it's creepy behind me. Oh, it's 666. No. Oh, it just said it was just 666 right there. The temperature? Hold let, me, let me get it here. Well, no. So there it is. 666. Six, six. See it? Go lower. There it is. Got it? Wow. 666 six, six in the <laughs> church. It's strange. It's right around 666 six, six right here. It's also crazy that... Look at 666. Six, six. Right here. Everywhere. It's staying it. Right here. It's wow. almost... What a weird number to be reading out of every temperature. 66.6 .6 in this church. Well, it goes, it flips, but it hits it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, did you hear that? Yeah. Okay, what are you doing? Oh. Finally, boy, finally kill. I can't, I can't. Finally, boy, kill. Finally kill boy. Okay. Did you want to kill somebody? Is that why you were sent to the asylum? Because you wanted to kill a boy? Kill a boy? Weird. That was really rum hot. Can you turn these lights on for us? Spirit? Really? K. 
kill movie spirit? Do you want to move that up? Yeah. What do you believe in? This would be the Protestant part of the chapel in God. When we go straight out these doors and to the right. Do you believe in the Catholic faith? Eleven Robert. Robert Eleven. Look at that. Robert Eleven. Show that I can. Maybe it's saying he was an eleven year old named Robert. Are we talking to someone named Robert? Did a Robert pass away at age eleven and have a funeral here? Let's go upstairs and do a spirit box. Upstairs. Sam? Well, there, and it just went off. <laughs> right after we passed? Yeah, you'll show it. It'll be on camera. Look at this. It came on. This is creepy. Let's try. We gotta get that. I wanna get to that. Connect to it. Thanks. We better not. Yes, we can. Yeah, I think it looked like. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, look at that light coming from here. That's so weird. And I was just talking about how it wasn't working. No. We definitely wouldn't have set that off. You saw me walk. Well, I would walk by it and I, I was filming to see if anything would happen when the light came on. So that will be on the camera. Are you in the back there? I'm. Oh, geez. I'm, those are lights, bad. Okay. I'm just seeing if it's just a light that goes off. So now, why doesn't that go off? And that goes off. Yeah. That goes off. Look at Colin. This one. I'm going to walk in front of it. Okay. It doesn't go off. Okay, maybe it's going to go off. Oh, it went off. Come on. No look way. At, look at it. Again. Like one more pass. It just went off. Yeah. I don't know. Spirit box while he runs the SLS. Let's do this. Okay, it's not connected. Good. To everybody that has been in here, can you tell us your name, whoever's in here with us? To everybody that has been in here, can you tell us your name, whoever's in here with us? Can you tell me the name of the building that we're in? Chapel. Chapel. Do you believe in God? I'm a demon. Yeah. I'm a demon. Are there demons here at this hospital? Show yourself. 
calling? I feel really creeped out all of a sudden. Like something's coming around and he's sitting here. Yeah. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Are you here? Oh, oh! You see that? Yeah. The light flashed. What the? The last flash. The last one. How does it flash? I don't know. Were you a nurse? That last light. Flash? I'm gonna go back there. Yeah. Again. Oh, that one came oh. on. Okay. Are you coming Ooh. closer to us? I feel. Ooh. So bad. Sounded like it. Now. Now. Oh, okay. Do you not want us in here? Now. Grace. Oh, Grace? Oh, Grace. Okay, what? Tom's showing himself. And you're going to have to like, show yourself too. Are you trying to manifest out of him? Is there something evil here? That might come on. Are you following me right now? Kind of like you follow that security guard home? I'm not afraid of you. I'm really not scared. Come on. Are you trying to act like a demon to scare me? Show yourself. positive building, but oh. well, look at yeah. it, it illuminates when I walk away every that, time. The big, the one closest not came on. And that wasn't even coming on when I was right next to it. Mm. It's like this thing is like right behind us, like the it's woman has followed her. Yeah. And I'm getting cold too. Well, it seems like whatever's in here is pretending to be some sort of a demon or I something. Wonder, it's not good well, energy really, well, it's well, not. Turn on. Okay, and then there we go. I'm gonna put this down right here on the front pew. You can talk into this. What's your name? Do you believe in God? How about all of you show yourself and just show, show us that I came on way down there. See, that's physically impossible for us to set that off. It's nine feet. We checked out and measured nine feet. This is like... This is... Uh, 30? 30, yeah. Did you die here? Did you suffer abuse? What happened to you when you were here at Central State? Can you tell us that? If you want to, now's a good chance to come behind me. You can pull on my hair, you can pull on my necklace, you can do anything you want to me. I thought I heard it. Like a loud, like um. So everybody, we 
We're supposed to be out of here by 11. They gave us a grace period, but we don't want to push it because this is such a great opportunity and we're so thankful that they allowed us into these buildings, well, into this one building and on the campus grounds. So we're going to head back to our Airbnb, which also is supposedly haunted because it is actually a remodeled building that was once a part of the campus that one of the administrators or higher ups at the asylum, they actually lived there, it was their home. And we don't know who it was, but there's a good chance that they've already passed on. So when we were in there earlier, I was hearing some things when we were just checking in. So we're, we're going to head over there now and continue investigating. Any final words to these spirits in here? No, I just, um, thanks for allowing us here. I was just kind of thinking the chandeliers for a second. That something was up there, but uh, yeah, thank you for allowing us in here. Okay guys, so I'm totally exhausted from filming all day and all week, but I'm sitting here right now in what was once a house that one of the supervisors or one of the higher ups at Central State lived in. It's been remodeled and turned into an Airbnb. I can assume that this place has some sort of haunting attached to it. I've been in here for a while. I heard a couple of weird noises earlier right when we were bringing our stuff in, my dad and I. I went upstairs to put some stuff in my bedroom and Jeff apparently left the building and I thought I heard him downstairs and I yelled out, hey, is that you, dad? And uh, it wasn't him. But I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit and ask a few questions and, and see if anybody's in here because I don't know, it's eerie. It's definitely got a, a weird vibe to it. And also to think about the person who is facilitating, overseeing the day-to-day -day operations of this facility. It's interesting to think about the kind of headspace that they were in and the kind of mark that that could have potentially left on an environment like this. So I'm sitting here in the main room, the living room. All the lights are out already. Here's the porch. There goes that. About to go into a world of darkness. And as you can see, it is pitch black in here. Let's turn the infrared on. Got my illuminator sit down over here. I've also got the obulus. Scream, beast, clock. Scream, beast, clock, July, crash. I have no idea what that would mean. So I'm sitting in the house with you guys. Did you used to live in this house? Can you come talk to me if you did? So it's the morning after Central State. I've been up getting B-roll, zooming around, security's come and talked to me, I think three times now, but I got this little safety vest. Like I said before, I'm wearing the exact same clothes. I just wanted to say thank you to anybody who was here in the house. Thank you to anybody that was here on the grounds. It was truly a beautiful night, and I hope all of you guys have found peace and we're going to come to the cemetery now. So if anybody's around in this area, come join us where you were finally uh, laid to rest. So to end our time here at Central State Hospital, we've come for the first time in the daylight. We're not trying to make this look scary. It's very haunting nonetheless, but it's not scary. We've come to the Cedar Lane Cemetery on the property where where there are over 25,000 patients buried and only a handful of markers. This area is all wooded behind us and all the burials are spread throughout the woods and the forest and it's just eerie and heartbreaking because when you look at that memorial that they've erected with the stakes, you really just see that it's just numbers, there are no names to these people. It's almost as if they never existed since so many records have been lost and everything. So, and those are only the numbers that they even found. But 
we're gonna drive through, pay our respects, and um, get out of here and head to our final place. We're filming for the trip. Oh. How does it make you feel? Well, just, um, it's again a, a totally different cemetery in the sense that uh, it's for psychiatric patients. Kind of na nationally, actually, like the sign will read, in the sense that, um, like you said, they're a number. There's, they're not even given a name on their burial. And there was like 25,000 people here, and there's like, like you said, several hundred, you know, stakes with just a number. So that's kind of a sad thing, but, you know, I think that at least it looks like a pretty setting, you know? I don't know if that, to me, peaceful. But yeah, it's sad when you think about people in psychiatric hospitals in the past were just given a number and and just buried, you know, without really any name. So and there's probably like you said a lot more. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And already got a little emotional, cried a little bit. So this is not the typical scary ending, but this is the true paranormal files way where just wanna tell you guys at the end of the day. Life is very valuable. You never know when it's going to get taken away. And if you're watching this video, you're lucky to be alive. So count your blessings whenever you can. And hug the people you love. Tell them you love them. You never know when it's going to go away. Thank you guys for allowing us to come visit you and no matter who you are, what your name is, just remember that you'll always be remembered. Don't ever feel hopeless if you can hear this uh, message. But at the end of the day, I hope you all found peace and um, we're leaving you with the best energy that we can and we're trying hard here to tell your story, the real story of what happened to you. So. I hope you find comfort in that. And uh, maybe I'll see you guys one day. Because I'm... We're all headed there too. But we'll catch you next time. Also, I want everybody online to just join us in a moment of silence for everybody here. Well, in doing that, hopefully we can give them thousands of moments of silence and some respect from afar. But that's it, guys. Time to say goodbye to Central State. It's been a fun day, such night. Sombering ending, but catch everybody on the flip.